Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to an, welcome to another Java graphics tutorial. This is the third one, I believe. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a popular arrow illusion in Java. And basically, this illusion has an, two lines of equal length, but the top one looks as if it's shorter because the arrow's heads are pointing inward, whereas the bottom ones are pointing outwards. But in reality, the the lines are the same length. So. Yeah, we'll be able to see how to draw this just using the arm. The only command we're going to use is the g.drawLine command in Java to do this. So, anyways, um, I got this one called I call it Illusion Panel, and then uh, not painting anymore. It's Illusion Panel. All right, and then set background. And I'm gonna do dark gray. And spell it right. Oh, duh. <laughs> Color. Alright, so do a dark gray. You could do black too if you wanted, I suppose. And then do your paint method. And then I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw the uh, thing in yellow so it shows up nicely. Alright, I'll make a little comment and draw top arrow. So, this is going to be the arrow that um, has the arrow heads um, slanted inwards, I guess. I mean, that's the best that I can describe it, but you'll see. So, um, and by the way, I have these already, like, I already uh, wrote this program because. The first time I wrote this, it took me actually a little bit of time to get this just right. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be pretty good at um, geometry to visualize it, or else you gotta like do it, run it, see how it is, run it again, make corrections. But anyways, so that's why I have these um, lines off the top of my head. I mean, I'm not just thinking of these as I go. I already know them, so that's why I can come up with them easy. But anyways, um, this one, so g dot draw line. And this one is going to be 40, 40, and 240. And that is going to be the, uh, uh, the, the line. And now we're going to draw the arrowheads. Um, this is the left arrowhead. I think this is the left top arrowhead. So, draw a line. It's 40, 40. 60, 20. Now I'll do the bottom one, and that's um, 40, 40, 60, 60. And then do the bottom arrowhead, and that is 200. So now we're way over on the right side because we're over 200. Um, 40, and then 180, and 20. Then 200, 40, 180, and 60. So that's the top arrow. Now we gotta draw the bottom arrow. Um, first line is going to be this, the line that. Why does it always do that? 3D rect. Yeah, G dot draw line. Alright, so the first one is going to be the line and then we're gonna draw the arrowheads just like last time and these arrowheads are gonna be pointing outward so it looks like the line is actually longer when in reality they're the same length so we're gonna do 40 100 200 100 and then this is the arrowhead what the f all right 40 100 20 80 Um, 40, 120, 120. Alright, now we're going to do the bottom, or the top right arrowhead, I believe this is.
Oh, this one's actually um 220, and this one is 120, and we're done. So that's it for the. That's all the new stuff we're gonna do this tutorial, and then yeah, man. All we did was just um, do f 10 draw line commands, so pretty easy. Now I'll go back to your frame class, and then this is just like last two tutorials, so I'm not gonna talk too much. Uh, I think I'll call it Arrow Illusions. Sounds good. And size, let's see, I've written this program before, so the optimal size is 270 by, let's see, I think it was 180. And then default, nothing new here. I don't know. Why am I putting painting? I'm so used to, uh, last two tutorials we used painting, but now I called it illusion panel. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the panel from the illusion panel class, which is going to have all of our lines drawn in it. Alright, got our paint, set the layout. And then, <coughs> and paint, add panel, and set visible. There we go. That's it. Run it. And here it is. So, just like I was saying, your arrows, these lines are actually the same length, but as you can tell, the bottom one, the uh, horizontal line actually looks a lot longer than the top horizontal line but they're exactly the same it's just because these arrowheads are slanted inwards whereas these ones are um, pointing outwards so it makes it look like this one's longer but you can tell they are the same it's just yeah so I like it um... whoa what the... alright arrow illusion so as you can tell I mean, there's nothing really hard here except getting the line positions correct. I mean, first line was at 40, 40, so it's over 40, down 40, then over 200, down 40. So that's how that's how you can tell where the lines are. The, the first coordinate is how far over it is, and then how far down, and that's where it starts. And the second coordinate is how far over it is for the other end of the line, and how far down for the other end. So, anyways, I hope this explained a lot, cleared up a lot about kind of the coordinate system. Job uses. If I didn't leave a comment, question, whatever, I'll try to help you. But thanks for watching and subscribe. Thanks.